Hello folks, welcome to the stream. Let's get straight on with showing you the game. Um, so if I do this, and I do this, there you go. You can see, so this is the uh, the menu for Steel Ridge, the game we're going to be trying out today. This is a uh, demo of a game that's in development, and it constitutes the prologue of what would be the full game. Uh, as you can probably tell from the name, and the rather delightful lo-fi music that we're hearing. Um, this is a, a game very much inspired by um, the likes of Silent Hill and Twin Peaks. Let me get you some more information here because I've, I've already pinned in the chats of both the YouTube and Twitch streams uh, the link to the um, itch page for the game so you can check it out yourself if you're interested. Um, it's I'm really excited to to be able to play this actually because I had thought it would make a good entry in my um, series of Halloween inspired streams um, and I, I uh, downloaded it and tried to get it working a couple of weeks ago in preparation for this um, but it had a very strange error where um, the character models wouldn't load. Um, so objects around them that they're, in they're interacting with would, but the object models themselves wouldn't. Uh, but uh, luckily as of the 26th of October, and we are speaking now on the 28th, uh, th there was an update. So uh, now everything seems to be working brilliantly, so I can experience this game first hand, and um, you can enjoy it with me. Um, what we should do probably is give you a little uh, bit of information on what what this game is. Um, so it's also available. So it's available directly on itch.io, and you can donate some money to uh, towards the development of the game there um, with some benefits. Uh, you can get the, um, the soundtrack to the game, and you can get some behind the scenes documentation as well, which I'm certainly very interested to read after we've played it today. Um, so, let's see how the author, JB, uh, describes this particular game. Omar Fletcher is a therapist who can travel through the dreams of his patients. When he witnesses a ritualistic murder in his own dreams, Omar is compelled to travel to the town of Still Ridge, West Virginia, to stop what he witnessed. But within this idyllic mountain town, Omar finds that the waking world and nightmare unite, and outsiders aren't welcome which sounds very intriguing to me, and the aesthetics of this low, low poly, um, sort of PS1 era style of game um, is actually quite enticing to me because I've, I've long thought that uh, the, that particular era of early 3D games um, didn't really make full benefit of the the weird uncanny uh, oniric quality of of the graphics that it produced because it thought it was it, well I mean it was cutting edge but it thought it was presenting a realism um, but in reality w what you get is, is quite far from that so in that tradition uh, there are a few different options in the game we go, I'll just sort of point us around this lovely menu a little bit. Um, so in the options, we you can choose your resolution. I've gone for a boxy 4.3 for, for the old school vibes, um, and 24 frames per second as a target, to make it just that, um, have that pleasing amount of uh, jerkiness. That's what I'm aiming for. So, uh, I think uh, as far as um, these menu items go, Dream is start a new game, Remember is probably load a game, and uh, I'm not sure how we get to save a game. That would be interesting. Maybe we'll find out. Um, Awaken is, is quit. Um, I will just show you the, or read you, sorry, the content warning from the Steam page. Um, because I think, I think it's important that we... Um, 
we mention uh, this uh, before we start off, really. So, Stillbridge contains scenes of stylized violence and gore, drug and tobacco use, self harm, and clinical nudity. And then, in the game itself, there's a content warning which is fabulous. I mean, I don't think that happens enough, really. Um, so, we'll read this as well. The game contains clinical discussions on mental health and well-being via a counselling session. The character mentions taking SSRIs. The prologue is about a military occupation and depicts a tense atmosphere. The player character smokes cigarettes. Smoking is a gameplay mechanism, which I guess we'll find out about later. A ritualistic hanging is depicted in a surprising manner. Um, I will add to that that um, just in the short little test bit that I played, there was... Um, uh, text description of um, police brutality and and murder um, so to add that into the mix as well so if you feel like um, this is a game you are you would be safe to enjoy then please do hang around I mean I don't know exactly what I'm gonna find in here although I think I will be all right but I did find the description that I had read um, quite affecting so I think this is a game I would like to take seriously. I'm, I'm not, probably not going to be doing any silly voices when I read things out, uh, but I will have to read everything out because it, they're not, it's not voiced in game. Uh, so I will try to do that as best and as sensitively as I'm able. Uh, but I think that's everything I wanted to lead off with. So we should probably dream and hope all the character models are there. Omar. Hey, Syrinx, answer phone. Omar. Pleasant end counselling. Omar Fletcher speaking. Amani. Hello, Mr. Fletcher. My name is Amani Hassan. I would like to schedule a session. Omar. Certainly. What details are you comfortable sharing over the phone? Amani. I've been receiving treatment for general anxiety from a psychiatrist the past month, but recently I've been feeling disturbed. Omar, how would you describe this disturbing feeling, above and beyond feelings of anxiety, that is? Amani, rest asleep. Strange dreams. I'm home on my family's farm. My friends and family, people I've known my whole life, their faces, faces are fuzzy, out of focus. There's an emptiness, a feeling of dread, something's wrong, and I can't describe it. Omar, we can schedule a meeting, yes. Amani, I was recommended your sleep therapy services by a former client, a Mr. Grady. He told me to specifically ask you about meta-regulation. Omar, does next Sunday work for you? Never can true reconcilement grow where wounds of deadly hate have pierced so deep. And this is, I think, a cigarette lighter. And the instruction on screen is to left click to interact with the highlighted object. So, let's do that. Omar, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Flex your limbs, three, two, one, and relax. With each breath, focus on your chest rising and falling. Imagine a wisp of warm light forming at the base of your spine. Inhale. Follow that light past your navel through your chest. Let it rest in your heart. Exhale. Inhale. The light passes from your heart through your throat and to the base of your eyes. Do you see the light? Exhale. Amani, I, I do. 
Oma, inhale. With your consent, our memories will merge. You may experience visions that are not yours, but remember that what you see is only a dream. And dreams cannot hurt you. Amani, I consent. Omar, you are in a safe place. If the experience becomes too intense, all you have to do is open your eyes. Omar, exhale and sleep. Right click to hear Omar's thoughts on an object. Okay, there's something over there. Okay. Oh, oh, I can. Okay. There's a torn photo. There's transcend. And there's sit. So, um, as you can. Well, it, it's, this is a pretty atmospheric um, and slightly obscure experience, which I'm I'm already enjoying. Um, I'm assuming we've gone into the dream place as the walls flew away. Um, and there's only three things I can see that we might be able to interact with. What happens if we try and think about the chair? Omar, the best seat in the house. I come here often when I'm meditating. Cool. What, what about transcending? Omar. Locus Aminus. My pleasant place. This window connects me with a willing, unconscious individual guided by the flame of my lighter. The lighter is a tether and this window is my interface. At least that's how I choose to represent it. Interesting. So that's what we'll ultimately do. Okay, there's an inventory. I'm not quite sure how we... Can we... Right click on... We can! Okay, well this is the lighter. Omar. A custom engraved Zippo with a Gustave Doré woodcut of Satan falling from heaven. Now you know what, I don't smoke, but I would love a lighter with a, a Gustave Doré woodcut of Satan falling from heaven on it. That'd be fantastic. Never can true reconcilement grow where wounds of deadly hate have pierced so deep. John Milton, Paradise Lost. Uh, I, when I was trying to be um, pretentious, pretentious rather than edgy, I think, I did write a quote from uh, Paradise Lost on windows above my room at university. Little fact about me. Uh, Omar, the light is broken. It only works in my sleep. If I see its fire, I know I'm dreaming. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love that. Uh, and then the cigarettes. Omar, strike out brand cigarettes with menthol capsule. Smoking is a nasty habit, but it helps me think clearly. Okay, and I'm assuming there's a little like eye symbol on it. I'm assuming we use that for something. Um, as I guess if the the textual clue is thinking clearly, then maybe we need to um, uh, do that when we're trying to work out a mystery. Let's have a look at this photo that we can't quite... I think it says torn photo. Can't quite see in the corner of our vision. Uh, it might be because we're in the 4-3 ratio, I suppose. Uh, Omar, the memento of my last marriage counselling case. I don't like to recall this repulsive case, but sometimes recall is the best therapy. So, yeah, we will do it. So this is the, um, the, the text I was speaking about earlier. Omar. The wife of a police officer, let's call her Mary, cited years of abuse by her husband, James. James claimed Mary was unfaithful and used the chemical termination of an illegitimate pregnancy as evidence. The sessions revealed Mary was assaulted by James' rookie partner. James believed it was their, their live-in help, Luis, an undocumented Venezuelan. Luis asphyxiated during an immigration arrest. The coroner's report was that he had a mental breakdown while detained and fell on a large rock, puncturing his lung. A size 12 boot-shaped rock. Luis died face down, hands cuffed, wearing a spit mask. 
In James's mind, he looked like a hairless gorilla, an inhuman monster with a muzzle. The Hippocratic Oath warns against therapeutic nihilism that sympathy can be as effective as any drug. But most psychotherapists don't have a front row seat to true horror. My mind is as vulnerable as any other. I created this space as a private sanctum, but every mind I touch, I bring a piece of them back. These mementos remind me of humanity's capacity for love and hate. See, that's quite that's quite affecting, isn't it? Um, I guess the only thing to do, as far as I can tell, now is to transcend. So let's let's do that. Am I ready to dive into Amani's memories? Oh, uh, I think so. Ooh. Like a glider or a butterfly and beams of light. There's Amani. Oh, it could be a kite, couldn't it? Move cursor to the top of the screen for inventory. Drag items together to combine them. Interesting. Okay, so if I want to light a cigarette, I would do it that way. This is interesting. Right, how do I move around? With clicking? Okay. Oh, okay. Can I talk to a person? I mean... I like the seething textures of this, I don't know how much is in intentional or not, but it's definitely unsettling. Or oh, the fixed camera angles are also unsettling. Oh, date palm, okay, let's have a look at the date palm. Oh my, a date palm. A bunch of ripe dates dangle from the branches. Can we get dates? Oh my, damn, can't reach. If this were my dream, I would float or stretch my limbs. I just have to find a more conventional method. Interesting. Um, well, this person seems to be doing alright, so we're going to have a look at them. Okay, same text for this date palm. If I was working this tree, I'd rather not interact with entities if I can help it. Okay. Basket. Can we get the basket? We can. Um, so, if I wanted to use the basket on, I click and drag it. Can I select it? Ah, okay, there you go. I have a basket, but the dates are just out of reach. Okay. Well, I can see a ladder over there against this wall. To nowhere. Well, this person has a disturbing face. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But let's... Oh! Salman. Salam alaikum, traveller. How is the weather treating you? It's hot and dry, but I'm the fool wearing a coat in the desert. So no blinding dust storms or monsoons. Perfect weather to be working the fields. Omar, if you say so, my name is Omar. Salman, Salman Hassan, overseer of this fine date farm. Omar, can I ask you a few questions? Salman, if it helps you focus on your work, I will permit it. Where am I? That would help you focus on your work, presumably. Omar, where am I? Salman. The Hassan family date farm, along the border. Omar, along what border? Salman, the Pakistani border, of course. 
Nang Nangaha along the Kabul River. Perhaps you should spend some time in the shade, my friend. Or are you not a day labourer? I'm, I'm not. I'm a traveller, just passing through. You may loaf if you wish. I welcome you as a guest, but if you want access to the warehouse, you need to work. Are you related to Amani Hassan? Salman, is my sister bothering the workers again? Omar, does she normally? Salman, every day she runs through the fields quoting Keanu shoot bang movies and big eyed cartoons. She flies kites with the boys in town while the household chores stack up to the rafters. Well, sounds like a healthy child to me. Salman, because of our diligence, the sound survived the Soviets, survived the Civil War, survived the Emirates, and we will survive the Americans and their confederacy of dunces. Amani needs to get her head out of the clouds. Omi has been very ill. I will not speak on this subject anymore. What was that armoured vehicle that rolled by? Coalition soldiers, says Sam. Like Omar? Like government? Or... Salman? Oh, Spitz. American. Mercenary. What difference does it make? Yeah, so Salman's eyes are deliberately obscured. Interesting and unsettling. Um, Omar, what's an armoured division doing at this farm? Salman, this is a border town. Conflict breaks out along the borders. The transitional government protects this farm in exchange for provisions. Omar, so you're being extorted. Salman, I've seen what bored soldiers do to civilians. I'm content the Americans' war is contained to the hills and poppy fields. Omar, how does the money feel about this? Salman, my sister is safe. Our family is safe. The price for that is a few crates of exotic fruit. I have spoken. Um, I need access to the warehouse? Do I? Maybe. And I need a basket full of dates. Curious what we are both and that we are both empty handed, says Salmon. Mama, you have enough people working in the field, just let me buy. Salmon, no day labourer gets by Salmon Hassan without a hard day's work. I wouldn't let my own sister buy if she wasn't flesh and blood. Grab a basket and get picking. I'll be going. A la mark. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna quickly. I think I'm gonna dip the audio volume down a little bit more because I'm worried that it's a bit too exciting. There we go. That should be a better contrast of levels. But let me know if you're watching along. Um, how it's sounding and looking. Okay, I need to do this to get my cursor back. Here we go. Um, right, so I feel like we should probably go over to this stepladder. A ladder. Um, a stepladder. Hey, oh, we can walk around with it. Oh, there's bamboo as well. I feel like we need the bamboo. Bamboo poles used to prop up saplings. Thin, strong and pliable. Can we get it? Yeah, that's in our inventory. There's the um the worker here had both bamboo. So, uh let's see what we can do now. We've got a step ladder in hand, so does that mean we automatically Good. Um what if we use the bamboo sticks on the date part? I'm tempted to give the, that a good whack, but no. Okay. Um, then just the basket? Okay. So, now I've got a full basket. Okay, brilliant. We don't appear to be able to pick the ladder up again. That's fine. I guess we should just see if there's anywhere else that we can go to. I don't think there necessarily is. Can we go over to the, where this person is in the back? Kind of. I think we have to go through Salmon, probably.
Salam alaikum, Omar. Um, I need access to the White House. Okay, same dog. Oh, okay. I do I just need to present. Oh, I see. Yep, yeah, same dialogue. Um, so I need to present the basket of dates. Fair enough. Okay, to some. Oh, there's a wet. Hang on, what was this? Warehouse path. Hang on, let's put that back. Warehouse path. Warehouse path. Okay. Uh, I thought we might get some dialogue for Warehouse Path, but no. Salam alaikum, my friend. How goes your work? Amar, is this enough? Salman, ah, that's what I like to see. Drop off your hall directly to the foreman to receive credit. Alamaka. Oh, this looks frightening. Okay, Iron Eagle. Not sure what these pointy things are. They might be not be intended to be there, but that's seem to be following my good focus around. They're definitely making it seem more unsettling, which. Okay, well let's talk to the Iron Eagle. Omar, I hate this thing's incessant mechanical squawking. I don't want to approach it. Okay, let's avoid the Iron Eagle then. Uh, can we l get a description though? Same description, okay. That's fine. So I'm assuming we're... Do we want to go to the... We can't go to that doorway. Can we go over this way? We can. There's a person. Can we talk to that person? The beams are following us. It's the foreman. Okay, let's talk to the foreman. Salam alaikum. Place your workload in the box when you're ready. Oh, we still got the dates. There's a box there. Got a flickering sticker on it. Okay, um, alright, this is my workload. Foreman, a good haul. Here, a bottle of water for you. Please dispose of glass in the proper receptacle. If one more person steps on glass shards, I will dock everyone an hour's wages. Okay, so we've got bottled water. Interesting. Look at the box. Omar, a box full of dates ready to be shipped and processed. The foreman. This must be the warehouse foreman. He looks as much of a brick wall as the salmon. Okay. Oh, river? What does it say? Empty cans? Oh. Oh. Okay, the Iron Eagles are shooting them for practice. They're terrifying. Track with there's a bucket. Omar, a bucket with various chemicals. Looks like the workers mix things in this area. Okay, can I? Same description if I interact. Okay. There's no, there's no Omar hotspot, so we can't use things on ourselves necessarily. Okay, can we come around this side? Oh, 
No, I think we can just go there. Well, that's interesting. So is there anywhere else in here that we can go? Doesn't look like it. This is definitely a more point and click. Oh, I clicked out of the window again. Uh, more point and clicky than I had thought it would be, actually. Can I give the bottle of water to the Iron Eagle? That doesn't need to be drenched to the Lomar. Okay, do we need to drench something? Do I need to use bamboo sticks for something? How? So I thought to use the bottled. Oh, interesting. Didn't really do anything. Um, well, let's go. Oh, go back to the river. Let's see what's happening here. Can I do anything with the cans? Is that. No. No, I think it's just one. Let's go. All right, can I do anything with the bamboo sticks in the bucket? No, it tempted to give that a good whack, but no. What about the bottled water? That doesn't need to be drenched. What if the... Can I use the lighter with... I don't want to burn that. Okay. Cigarettes? That's got an ashtray. <laughs> yeah, so we can't, we couldn't use cigarettes on self, so I'm assuming we would probably use a lighter on cigarettes to. Oh, hang on. Makeshift range we can interact with. Bullet riddled cans that are the ground. That creature will probably shoot at anything. Oh, like this? Okay. What's happening here? Powdered glass. Pile of powdered glass. That creature fires powerful rounds. Why would I want powdered glass, though? I mean, I've got it. Um... That doesn't need to be coated with glass. The sticks? No. Hmm. Well, we, we did something. What, well, uh, can we put the bamboo there as well? I tend to that, give that a good whack, but no. Okay, we've got glass. Is there anything else we can talk to people about? Can we talk to the foreman again? Stay cool and hydrated, my friends, says the foreman. What about the box? The box with dates ready to be shipped and processed. I mean, I don't know why I would put powdered glass in here, but what happens if I do? That doesn't need to be coated with glass. Okay. Uh, does the former need to be coated with glass? That doesn't need to be coated with glass. What would need to be coated with glass? Uh, what if I heat the glass? I don't want to burn that. No, that's not the solution. I'm just going to comb here. So we can go back to the farm. Can we go... Oh, okay. We passed close by. We've got a different angle. I really shouldn't get close to those things. Okay, I know my back's away. Okay. What if we do powdered glass? No. What if we do bamboo sticks? No. How about the ones up here? No. No. 
Mm, no. Okay. Well, uh, let's go back through here. Okay, we seem to be in the same situation. Talk to Salman again? Salam alaikum, Omar. Uh, I need access to the warehouse? Okay, I think we'd have to do it again if we want the... Yeah, it's like we'd have to do the dates puzzle again. If we want to get through. Am I missing something? I'm not sure where Amani is. Hmm. Well, let's see. So, let's see if we can do it again. Ask anymore. Ah. Uh, so we might be, might have messed it up. We might have messed it up. Because we can't get any. Can't all hold all these dates, not with my bare hands. How about with powdered glass? Hmm. Right, so I can't get back into the warehouse without. Or can I? I haven't tried just walking back in. I might be allowed to. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, the music went. Very strange there in the transition. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Should we try lighting a cigarette? Okay, yes. That was a Barney running off. Money looked distressed after the armoured vehicle caused her to lose control of her kite. It looks like she ran off down the hill in the fields. The kite requires these reeds to be singed. These sticks will make a good frame, but they need to be singed in a fire. Money has a wood stove in her workshop. Just need to load it with fuel and light it. Oh. Okay, so you get... Okay. Information. Right, so there's a hill by the farm, apparently. There's a workshop somewhere. How do we find these places? So we've done, we've done everything we can there. I guess I can try down by the river again. Are we sure we can't go over this way? Doesn't seem like it. I suppose we still haven't done anything with the bucket, have we? Hmm. Anything else I can interact with? No. Um I think we did we did everything with the bucket, didn't we? Hmm. 
I mean, the the paper would could be used for a. That could be used for a kite, couldn't it? But I don't think there's a way to interact directly with the paper. I don't want to burn that. I don't want to burn that, but we kind of do want to singe them. But not the lighter, obviously. Hmm. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do in this area. As far as I can tell, there's nothing else to do in the warehouse either. I guess we can walk over this way in case there's a, a part we haven't seen. But I think it's just the two two screens. Pretty sure it is. Yes, yeah, so we can't get too close to them. So maybe they're blocking something, but I'm not quite sure what we would do about that. Let's try the farm again. We know we can get backwards or forwards because we've solved the puzzle. I suppose what I should do is see if I can save. Oh, I can. Okay, escape loads a menu, so we'll save. Um, farm. Got glass. Probably about as far as we've got, isn't it? Okay. Right, is there anywhere else we can go from here? I assumed there wasn't, but oh, actually there is the workshop there. Okay, we missed an entire area. Ooh. Oh, double click to run. Drag the light onto the cigarettes to get a hint. Oh, why would I need to run? That's unsettling. There's some firewood there. Okay, I've got some firewood. There's a clothesline. And there's... Okay, I'm a bit concerned about the need for running. Can okay, I do anything over here? No. If you look at the clothesline? Some clean rags and thin cloth hang from a clothesline. Could that be used in kite making? Oh, wow, I've got the whole lot. I've got, oh, I've got the line and the cloth. Right. I feel like we're well equipped for a kite a kite making session. Okay. Oh, it's a lovely big kite. Money. Oh, Amani is called Hassan. Yes, who are you? Omar. My name is Omar. Hassan. Your face is familiar. Do you work on Baba's farm? Omar. I'm afraid not. I'm just a traveller. Hassan. How are you? How are your travels? Omar. It's difficult to say. So far it's rather straightforward, but surprising developments can occur at any time. Omar, but I think I've found what I'm looking for. Hassan, very good traveller, Omar. If there's anything I can help you with, please ask. Are you okay? I saw you fall earlier. Omar, are you okay? I saw you fall, uh, fall earlier. Hassan, yes, I'm fine. I'm very clumsy. Omar, clumsy? You were almost run over by an armoured vehicle. Hassan, because I was standing on the road with my eyes in the sky. Omar, be firm in your actions. Self-gaslighting can be dangerous. Hassan, but... It's a wood stove. Omar, sigh. Hassan, my brother works very hard to provide for the family, but sometimes I do get in the way of the fieldwork. 
Baba encourages my creativity. He says it wasn't an opportunity he had when he was young. Omar, no, I can't imagine it was. Um, that was a beautiful kite you were flying. Hassan, the rock was as beautiful as it was terrifying. Omar, the mythological bird of prey so large it could snatch an elephant, elephant as if it were a mouse. Hassan, the, the one and only. Omar, pretty intimidating name for a kite. Hassan, it wasn't just a kite, it was a fighter kite. Every Friday after midday prayer, the boys go kite fighting. They let me play because my father is a very important man, but it is a great honour to face Amani Hassan in pitched combat. Omar, how does kite fighting work? Hassan, oh, the string is coated with powdered glass. You win by cutting your opponent's string. The smaller children chase down the fallen kites to add to the spoils to their collections. Omar, how dr powdered glass? Hassan, yes, it can be very dangerous running down a fallen kite, but such is the way of love and war. Omar, go on, Jail. Hassan, it's a cultural pastime that celebrates skill, ingenuity, creativity and faith in God. The Emirate banned kite flying, but after the occupation you can't walk ten metres in the village without seeing a kite in the sky. Um, what are soldiers doing on your family's farm? Hassan, Americans, sometimes British, sometimes foreign mercenaries. Those are the worst. The ones with the black bear paw, overstuffed pigs. They make me uncomfortable. Omar, uncomfortable in what ways? Hassan, they leer at the women and intimidate the men. They shoot stray animals and trample the produce, uncouth barbarians. The only good thing is that since they arrived, we can fly kites again. Omar, I'm sorry you had, well, have to live through this. Hassan, are you a soldier? You carry yourself like a soldier. Omar, I was, yes. Hassan, did you invade a foreign nation? Omar, I was a naval officer inter interning in psychology. Fresh out of college at 24 with an MS and the economy tanked, cratered. Military was desperate. They let me work on my dissertation, offered 40k sign-on bonus and 5 grand yearly bonus. How could I pass it up? I could have, but that's in the past. Hassan, I'm glad you were a non-combat, non-combatant at least. If only we had more doctors. Omar, oh, well, yeah, if only. I want to help you rebuild your kite. Hassan, oh I don't know, my kite's ruined and my brother won't let me walk about freely during working hours. Omar, your brother doesn't know me, I can collect the materials on your behalf. Hassan, I don't even know if I can build a better kite than the rock. Oh, come on Amani, you love your craft too much to give up on it. I can see the passion in your eyes, the terror of the skies, girl. Hassan, okay, okay. Hassan, if you bring me the materials, I'll see what I can do. Omar, that's the spirit. Uh, what do I need to build a kite? Hassan, first I need to build the frame, some strong and flexible sticks that you char in a fire to dehydrate them. For the cloth, anything thin will do, but I'm very particular about the colour. It must be red, purple, blue and black. Why is that? Hassan, they mean different things to me. Red is the colour of life and passion. Purple is divinity. Blue is the sky and heavens, and black is just my favourite colour. Lastly, any line will work for the string, but it must be coated with powdered glass. That's what make it makes it a true fighter kite. Omar. Okay, so sticks, dyed cloth, and glass-coated line. Hassan, that's about it. Just put the materials on my workbench when you acquire them. Oh, and Omar? Omar, yes. Hassan. Thank you. Omar, you're welcome. Try not to wake up before our session is over, eh? Sam, I must be dreaming to go through with this, huh? You never wake up in a dream until it's most inconvenient. Omar, if only you understood how true that is. Um, right. Uh, Omar, time to get moving. So there looks like there's some dyes here. Can we pick up the dyes? We can. There's some prayer rugs. 
Interesting. Prayer rugs. It would be rude to touch them even in a dream. Okay, let's not do that. Um, this is the workbench. Okay, so I think we can coat the line in. The glass coated the line. No adhesive necessary. I love dream logic. Okay, so that can go on the workbench because that's ready. Hassan, careful with the line. It's seriously sharp. I've seen people lose an eye getting tangled in it. Oof. Uh, right, I can put the sticks. Uh, no, actually, I need to put the. I'm treated bamboo reeds thin and hollow. I need to put the firewood in the furnace first, presumably. And then. It's full of wood. I need something to burn it with. Oh, of course. Lighter. Signature lighter. And then. The bamboo sticks in the furnace. Okay, we've got five feet of bamboo sticks, so let's put those on the workbench. Hassan, yeah, yeah, a bamboo frame, much stronger than the cheap balsa I was using. Great thinking. Great, and then I think to dye our cloth, we're going to need to run up here. So I think the order of events, I mean, it befits dream logic, really, uh, but I think you were supposed to go down there first. I didn't know that down there was a place you could go. R right, so. Hey, look at us go! Oh, that music change, that gets me every time. It's very uncanny. Okay, so I think the, um, the buckets of chemicals down by the river is probably going to be good for dying. Okay, and then the bucket with various chemicals looks like the work. Yeah, that's what we're... I've got some coloured dyes. Okay, what what do we do now? Oh, okay, we get closer. Okay. Um, Oh gosh, we have to remember what colours she wanted, don't we? I didn't think it was going to be that complex. Um, purple was definitely one. You know what, let's exit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and ask her again. Because I don't remember all the colours. I thought that would probably be something given to us, rather than something we would have to remember about. But you know what, I've got pencil and paper here, I can write it down. You know, apart, well, apart from obviously the, um, the realism of the situation and the um, uncanniness of the, um, the aesthetics, uh, this is, is playing like a, a fairly regular adventure game, which is strangely comforting in the midst of everything else solid by like mama what's up um, what materials do you need there that, yeah uh, where can I find dyed cloth I'm sure you can find some cloth hanging around the workers are always drying their soiled rags you can use the dye next to me but you'll need to find a bucket and water uh, I only have three colours though, and I don't have purple or black dye. Oh yeah, so purple and black were two of them. Um, what were the other ones that you wanted? I think I managed. Oh, it was my second favourite school activity. Oh, okay, you're not going to tell me the colours again. Um, does anybody remember? Um... One was blue, one was blue like the sky, right? And one was red, I think. Right, we'll try that. We'll save it just before we do it, so we can go back and try again.
yeah, I think it was red, blue, purple, and black that we were aiming for. Um, right, let's... Where's Omar? Oh, there you are. Let's save. We save. Dying. Okay. Right. Okay. So, if I... I don't think I could... Well, let's see how this works. Res. Okay. So, do I... Okay, so if I click a cloth, it dies automatically. Oh, okay. Do... What happens if I now go for blue? It makes it purple, okay. And then what happens if I go for blue again? Nothing. What happens if I go for yellow? Okay, that made close enough to black, I think. So it's just blue that we didn't get. Um, well, if, if we exit. And then oh, it stays the colour. How do we get the blue then? I feel like we could either get red or blue as our first colour and then purple and then black but you can't do one or the other? Time to smoke a cigarette? What did I need for the kite again? Mine said I need three things to complete her kite. Wooden frame, I have to finish the six, something about drying them out to make them more rigid. Thin cloth dyed black, blue, red and purple. Yeah, I got that right. I need cloth, coloured dye and a bucket of water for that. And glass coated line. If this wasn't a dream, I'd be alarmed by that. Where am I going to get powdered glass? Okay, we sorted that one out. Um, Alright, I remembered, but I haven't solved this puzzle. So I presume I won't be able to pick those cloths back up until I've finished the, the riddle. But I don't think we're going to go anywhere from black, are we? If we can't empty the bucket out. Oh, we can empty the bucket out. Oh, amazing. Well, in that case, this is a much easier puzzle than I thought. Right, so now that's all the cloth I need in the proper colours. Hey, pick up the dyes and bring them back to no. Okay. No, I think we're good then. A bucket with various chemicals. Looks like the workers mix things in this area. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go then. We solved the puzzle. To the warehouse. To the farm. To the... Ooh. Oh, we didn't get this angle before. This is... Oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, workshop. Okay. I'm assuming the run is for convenience rather than action purposes, but here we go. So, dye cloth on the workbench. Oh, wow, that's really pretty cloth. It will be the jewel of the sky. Alhamdulillah, you found all the materials. Speak to me when you're ready to build the kite. Um, I'm ready to build the kite. This is cool. Uh, Salam alaikum, Omar. What's up? I finished gathering your materials. Hassan, wow, you actually did it. Shukran. Don't let Omar, don't let me get in your way.
Hassan, look Omar, the rock is better than ever. Shukran. Omar, good job. How do you feel? Hassan, honestly, frustrated at myself. My skill comes naturally and I just felt so much self-doubt. Omar, all valid feelings, but don't discount your environment in your mental well-being. Omar, I think we can conclude this session. I'll let you wake naturally and we can discuss your condition further. Salman, Amani. Hassan, brother, look, I rebuilt my kite, better than ever. Hassan, brother? Salman, mother fell. Hassan, what? Salman, the doctor, it was a stroke. Hassan, please. Salman, she showed symptoms all day, slurred speech, trouble walking. The servants thought she was tired, but you're smart, Amani. You would have known. Hassan, brother. Salman, Amani. Salman, I'm happy you had a productive day. Stay in your cave, watch your cartoons, play with your kite. I will be praying, alone. Hassan, please, please don't leave me. Hassan, ah! Omar, rest well, Amani. We'll discuss this when you wake up. We're not finished, traveller, mystery voice says. You have something I want. Do not resist. Return the light. Omar? Return the light. Give back what you have stolen. Omar, this is only a dream. This is only a dream. This is only. With Aite, this by his side comes not from hell, shall in these confines with a monarch's voice cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Oh, ooh. Some grotesque biomechanical tank. Yeah, run over. Oh, uh, is this a, oh heck, is this a stealth sequence? I, th I think it might be. This is slight worry. Okay. Uh oh, did I get caught? Ah, uh, okay. Right. Let's... Uh, well, I mean, we can get through play it. Is it... No? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, so far... This is very classic point-and-click adventure game. In mechanically, if we're having to do uh, an enforced... Um, segment of a different style of gameplay. Let's... No! Why didn't we get to the rock? Come on, Omar. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. So we're gonna get to this one next. Off that. Okay, so we'll stay there until the light has passed, and then we'll get to this one? Presumably. Oh, right. Okay, it's moved along. Okay. And then there's presumably one over here that we need to get to. Where does the light sweep to? There. Well, it doesn't give us much chance, does it? I suppose once it goes... Can we... No, no, not like that. Okay. Well, we could do the first bit, alright. 
Oh, hang on, we got to the checkpoint. Oh my goodness, this is great. Okay. So I'm thinking... Now? Oh no, it stays there. Oh, I thought it keeps sweep sweeping. Okay, I'm trying again. Maybe when it's here, we can go. Go, go here. Okay, good. Here. And then we need to go over here. Oh, the music's got a bit more exciting. No, yep, yep. Oh, we're good, we're good. Where are we trying to get to? There's a car. Are we trying to get into the car? All right, I guess I'll be get behind this rock if I can. And then I'll wait until the light's passed again. And then we'll get up here. Oh, okay. Up here. The car. The car. And then we'll just ride to ride to wakefulness, right? Oh, no, we're letting the car roll down the hill? Oh, that was confusing. Can we go in here? I thought we were going to ride the car to, to, to victory. Now what's happening? Gasoline? Oh, I'm not dipping my hands in flammable gas. Oh, it's a line of gasoline. Right, well I know what I used to do. The stolen fire, the Promethean fire, I will use to ignite that, blow up the car. Uh, should we get away? And we. I think we're alright. Oh, what's. Oh my goodness. What extraordinary images. Now there's something going on over here, and there's a river. I don't know where we are as, a, as an entity. Look at the river. Omar. Cold Shinhai water. It's flowing surprisingly swiftly. Um, and then over here there's a swinging something that looks. Suspiciously like a bit of human. Um, can we go to the river? No. What about the thing at the end of the river? The house? What about these bird wings? What about anything else? I don't think there's a hot spot here. At least not on screen. I wonder if we've fallen foul of the the aspect ratio. Ooh. Well, that was, that was a very tense sequence there. It got me. Um. Okay. What, should we have a cigarette? Not a good time for a smoke break. Okay. So if we... I mean, we can save here. I suppose. Um, uh, the river. And then... Yeah, are we missing something off to the side here? That's what I'm wondering. Um, can I? Oh, I can just. Oh, I can just walk on the water. I walk through the water. Right. Okay. So you're not clicking in. The, you're clicking to go for, forward. Okay. So when it's an arrow, you can go forwards. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my, I can't get any closer. Ooh. Spooky. Um, what well, is there a different place we can go? Can we go over to the side here? Is there something interesting over here? Oh, we're on the land. And Omar's just sort of moving by himself, I think. No, I've, I've clicked again. 
Oh, okay, now we get... Oh, you get to see it from a different angle. This is pointless. I have to wake up. Um, how do we wake up, though? Cigarette? Um, use the... Oh, I don't think that worked. That was a walking thing, wasn't it? Can we use this on the... No. No. Oh my God. I have to douse my lighter flame. It's the only way I can awaken. Okay, well, presumably if you put it in the river, so where it says river, that would do it. Okay. I think we solved that puzzle. Ooh, we get the kite. Omar, a fighter kite made from dyed cloth, bamboo, and glass coated string, a memento from Amani Hassan's memories. Recall memory? Let's see how it's phrased. Omar, Amani Hassan, born in the Nangarhar province of Afghanistan in the late, in the early 90s. Her family operated a date farm along the Pakistani border. It seems like her father was deeply connected. They managed to stay operational through Soviet occupation and the Taliban. They didn't close their business until after the US invasion and new coalition government. I believe the source of her trauma was growing up during a time of violent destabilisation. Fighting was at its heaviest along the borders, yet business must continue. Ironic to be extorted from your liberators. We brought nothing but destruction to a region that has faced hundreds of years of suffering. Silver Lining was the creativity of a child who was clearly showered with love by a sentimental father. She's seeking medical help for anxiety and further counselling should improve her health. Well, so, are we, can we walk, are we in real life now? Can we walk around the room? No? Doesn't look like it. So what happens if we sit? Or are we still in the dream? This is the dream room. Ready to wake up? Ah. Um, transcend? Descend? Omar, how did you rest? Amani, very well. How long was I out? Omar, three hours. What do you remember? Amani, it's very abstract. I was hyper-focused on building something in my old workshop, but I couldn't see what it was. I felt frustrated and distracted by this. Omar, that's good. It's common to recall emotions more than details. Amani, what was it like for yourself? Omar, to be honest, it's rather mundane. Perception is unique to the individual. To you, your memories could be, I don't know, forests of cotton candy and flying beds. Omar, to me, it was just a family farm. A noticeably distorted farm, but still a farm. Omani, I thought dreams were supposed to be surreal. Fantastic. Omar, I would argue that it takes a person with a strong sense of reality to understand what is fantasy. To be honest, I don't understand how my power works, and I'm afraid if I analyse it too deeply, I'll forget how to do it. Now, there are a few things I would like to go over. Um, I helped you build a kite? Omar. I helped you build a kite. Bamboo frame, glass-coated line. I felt unsafe just handling. Uh -huh. Amani. Oh yeah, the rock. I used to love kite fighting. Omar. Used to? Money. I stopped when we moved. People here like complicated sports with many rules. Where's the fun in that? Omar. I can't blame anyone for not wanting to slice their throat open, but I understand. 
But don't rule it out. With many different cultures bringing their own traditions, there's a pretty robust community around building on flying kites. Alani, I'll have to introduce my children to that. My husband spoils them like my father spoiled me. I hope someday I can feel safe showing them my home. I had a run-in with some monstrous soldiers. Amani, yes, our farm was frequently extorted by foreign soldiers. Amar, when did you move to the States, if you don't mind me asking? Amani, 2008, before my 18th birthday. Father sold the farm to the new government and purchased a failing vineyard here in Virginia. I couldn't tell if Salman was disappointed at the idea of a Muslim vit viticulturist or if he was elated to profit from the misfortunes of your economy ten years ago. I picked up English while studying paediatrics in college. The community was cautious at first, but most people welcomed us after the contributions we made. Omar, yeah, well no amount of personal hardship can make up for what you had to live through. Omani, we didn't have the resources or vocabulary to diagnose mental health. I can't begin to rationalise what it was like to be extorted daily, to hear gunfire in the hills and think to myself, this is life for everyone. But that lifestyle isn't uncommon here, either. No medical resources, no safety net, no guarantee you won't die in a random act of violence. You became unstable towards the end. Do you know what happened? Amani, what do you mean? Did I have a nightmare? Omar, your mother suffered a stroke. Your brother broke the news, but he spoke in a strange voice. Amani, that's a little alarming. My mother is healthy and no adults outside of my family ever bothered me. Omar, it may have been a minor panic attack. Those can occur even in your sleep. Omar, like I said, what I perceive may be different from what you perceive. I wouldn't dwell on it unless it becomes a pattern. That's all for now. Omani, what now, Mr. Fletcher? I feel well rested, but I don't know if it's a side effect of your care. Omar, you said you were recently being treated with antidepressants. SSRIs can cause insomnia in the early stages. Omar, I can refer you to a sleep specialist. They can evaluate you for short-term sleep medication until your body gets used to your change in hormones. Omar, keep a dream journal by your bedside. Try to awaken naturally and write down your thoughts and feelings. Don't go into specifics. It's easy to make up false narratives. We can review your journal in a few months. Out of caution, I only schedule special sessions quarterly. I don't know the side effects of periodic visits, but if you want to have a mundane heart-to-heart, -heart, I'm game whenever you are. Amani, thank you, Mr. Fletcher. I was sceptical at first when I heard about your alternative treatment. I thought you were a holistic influencer selling snake oil, but your ability is truly a gift from God. Omar, I wish it was, Mr. Sassan. Amani, if it means anything, I'm glad you use it to help people. I cannot believe you don't charge a fortune for this privilege. Omar, con men sell their miracles. I bill mine to your insurance. Omani, haha, thank you again. Goodbye, Mr. Fletcher. This is really nicely written. Well, case closed. Omar, it's getting late. I should I should have a smoke and call it a day. Okay. Can we interact with anything here? So oh yes, I've been told that ah uh, uh, if you press tab then you can see interactable items which I probably should be doing a bit more. So we can have a look at the paintings. Um, which I look very interesting, so let's do it. The Harlequin's Carnival. Harlequin's Carnival by Juan Miro Joan Miro? I'm not sure of Moreau's uh, heritage. Omar depicts various anthropomorphic objects in a state of ecstasy caught between sorrow and jovial frivolity. It's difficult to analyse surreal art, but its dreamlike nature and stream of consciousness approach to figure uh, stream of consciousness approach to figures reflects common dream symbolism. Dreams are often abstract and ethereal, but can also be impossibly detailed sometimes simultaneously. There's the nightmare. Oh, I know the nightmare. The nightmare. 
Henry Fuseli. A demon rests on a sleeping woman's chest while a horse watches with a glassy stare. My contemporary reading, the demon represents all the systematic hidden inconveniences that negatively impact sleep, overwork, stress, anxiety. Sleep is the last refuge of the self, the only time we can truly disconnect with the world around us. Yet the weight of the world sits on everyone's chest like this little demon. Does that make us the horse? Mm. And there's this one, Job's Evil Dreams, which looked like a William Blake. Job's Evil Dreams by William Blake. The Book of Job is one of the more contentious of the Old Testament. It depicts the torment of a privileged God, fe God fearing man, in a divine battle between God and Satan. God berates Job and by nature all of mankind for being beneath his divinity. Job is a worm before the omnipotence of the heavenly creator. If I could make a secular reading, it's about the fleetingness of health and welfare. Even the mighty can take a turn for the worse at the whims of unseen players. It's easy to be blind to the source of our suffering. Pestilence, war, famine, death. To a single person, the source of what plagues them is as unassailable as God himself. Hmm. And Aribe Yahe Kanamura, I guess. Portrait of Uribe Yahe Kanamura by Utagawa Kuniyoshi. Depicts one of the 47 Ronin, a historic event in feudal Japan. A beloved lord is forced to commit suicide after striking a high ranking court official who disrespected him. His samurai retainers plot a year long scheme for revenge posing as drunkards to let the official's guard down before raiding his estate and killing him, each committing seppuku themselves. Truly a legendary tale, it's emblematic of human pettiness. The official had died in the interim, the Ronin would be forever shamed. The Bushido way would have been to strike immediately even if the attack was guaranteed to fail. Sometimes the symbolic nature of our actions are more important than the results. The kids go nuts over this woodprint, it's kind of badass. They look like there were more. Can we go over here and look at more pictures? No. Is that all? All the pictures we get for now. Okay, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Um, I think we probably just need to have a cigarette then. Let's have a cigarette. The lighter is broken. It only works when I'm in a dream. Okay. Uh, how do we? How do we smoke? Okay, what what else can I do? What else can I do, Omar? Ah, uh, hi, Eugene Ensan. Um, what kind of uh, weirdness do you think it is? I mean, I've. I'll show you my settings now. Uh, I have I have gone. I'm I'm at 10:24 by 7:68, and I've deliberately gone for the the 24 frames per second. Do you think that's a that's causing it, or uh, do you think something else is going on? Oh, I can go to the desk. Okay. Well, this ah, uh, what can we look at here? Oh, so many things. Okay. Well, let's look at all these things. Frame degrees. I'm off Fletcher. Uh, BS Psychology. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Posture stamped. Yes. Do you think that will hinder me playing? Or do you think I'll be alright? Uh, Omar Fletcher, BS Psychology, MS Cognitive Psychology, Licensed Professional Counselor, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. Omar, soon to be licensed clinical psychologist once I finish my damn PhD. <laughs> yeah, I have got this bar. Okay, well if you think I'm missing out like something really important, then let me know and I can always try and um, change the resolution and the display on screen. Thank you for the heads up, Omar. I'm not ashamed to admit the only book that isn't covered in a thick layer of dust is The Undiscovered Self can't begin to imagine the trauma of living through two global wars. Even within Locus Aminus, I can feel the ripples of conflict. A hundred million casualties in a third of the time, my mind would chatter. 
Um, so we haven't done the mini. F oh, oh, that's an what is Zojirushi? Asan, Darjeeling, Oolong, Gunpowder Green, Out of Al Grey. Oh, is oh so is Zojirushi somewhere you can keep your tea? I I am partial to all of these teas. Um, but I particularly partial to Gunpowder Green. Mini fridge. Stacks of cheer wine and instant rum. A well stocked office fridge if you ask me. I, I have no idea what cheer wine is. It sound doesn't sound fancy. Uh, let's have a look at the filing cabinet. Emma, Sai. Don't have anything scheduled for the for a few months. I should get back to my dissertation. Okay, but I suspect we're probably gonna have to go to Still Ridge, right? I've been putting it off for nearly ten years. Locus Aminus. Constructing mental safe havens for controlled depersonalization, derealization. Hmm. Fortunately, I have to be very precious with my research. I can't say I literally walk through fragments of memories so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that's the point, isn't it, I suppose? Emma. Frame certificates for the Ancient Order of the Deep and the Imperial Order of the Golden Dragon awarded to sailors who cross the equator and international dateline. The only nostalgia I have from my service is wading through garbage on my hands and knees. Oh, wow, okay. So that was all the wall stuff. There's the desk and the office chair. Uh, I guess we can only sit in the office chair. Uh, I should have a smoke before locking up. Okay, but how do we smoke when we don't have a lighter that works? Oh, and, oh, okay. Desk. Oh, I might clear out my schedule the week following the Link's Awakening remake. That was my first Game Boy game. What, 26 years ago? Damn, this time fly. My parents got me a Game Boy and Link's Awakening for my 10th birthday. There wasn't a single AA battery left in the house when I finished. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so we can't actually do anything with the desk, but there's some interesting little tidbits of information. That's cool. Well, let's end the day then. And perhaps we'll find out how Omar smokes with a broken lighter. Is it only, can we only dream smoke? Okay. Oh, what's on your face? Ophelia? Eh, I must be dreaming. Ophelia, Omar. You crafted the fine stronghold for yourself. Omar, to protect myself from spectres like yourself, Ophelia. You can't hurt me in here. Ophelia, I would never hurt you, my prince. Omar, don't call me that. We're not children playing in the woods anymore. I wake up like I have for 20 years and this will be nothing but a bad memory. Ophelia, and yet you still carry a piece of our small sanctuary. Omar, it's an anchor, Ophelia, a reminder that mental suffering is equal to physical. Ophelia, examine your torch, my prince. Omar, what? What's going on? Ophelia, you are not dreaming. Omar, shut up! Ophelia, I have come to relay a message. We are being summoned. Omar, shut the fuck up! Ophelia, come out my prince. Stand before your queen. Ophelia, please. Okay, I'm trying to work out what's going on with Ophelia's face there. Oh, are we doing things? No, we're not. <gasps> at the mystery voice, at last. The king has abandoned his castle. Uh-oh. 
I think that was a that was a bad move. Oh, a tracksuited statue. Oh, Omar, who are you, mystery person? You may refer to me as Hypnos. Omar, the Greek embodiment of sleep. You have a flair for the dramatic. Hypnos, we share common interests. Omar, your voice. You created Omani's nightmare. Are you another traveller? Hypnos, you may be satisfied with being a tourist. I am an artist. The mind is a blank canvas. Omar, you're melodramatic and immoral. I didn't consent to this intrusion. Hypnos, we don't require consent, Omar. For us, every mind is open. Hypnos, we can reach across the world with ease. Why do you settle for your restrictions? Omar, what does Ophelia have to do with this? Hypnos, when you ignored my message, I contacted your queen, and she in turn reached out for her prince. I knew her doublespeak would entice you out of your hidey hole, and here we are, face to face. This double text is rather hard to read when it's more than one line. Oh, Ophelia, you are never lost to me, my prince. Hypnos, this one is fascinating. So secure with her true self, she never breaks character. Omar, so what is this, a courtesy call between astral travellers? Omar, my office hours are 9 to 5. Leave a message, a text, an email, but stay the fuck out of my head. Hypnos, do not turn your back on me. Omar, I said fuck off. Fair enough, really. Uh, mm -hmm. Hypnos. Ooh. This is spooky. Oh, something happened. What happened? Oh, it's a dangling. Oh, is this is this ritualistic? Welcome to Still Ridge. Oh my Jesus, this kid. But it's not real. It can't be real. Oh, oh, spooky voice. Uh, presumably Hypnos now has question marks again. You are correct. This is a premonition. Seven days. Next Sunday, the slaughter begins. The minds of men are so malleable, even your own is fresh clay in my hands. Follow the path to a town deep in the hills to the west. Bring me the light, a trinket in exchange for human life. Omar, how do I know this is real? Hypnos, could you live with yourself knowing your inaction would result in preventable suffering? I know you too well. Until you bring me the light, I won't stop killing you, and killing until you and I are the last people on this wretched rock. Well, what's all that about, Hypnos? Omar. Hey, Syrinx. Look up Still Ridge, town. I found one result for Still Ridge. Would you like me to read it? Omar, yes. Still Ridge is an unincorporated town in Randolph County, West Virginia. Its population in the 2010 census is 512. Would you like to know more? Omar, yes. That is all available information on Stilt Ridge. Omar, Christ. Omar, hey Syrinx, get directions to Stilt Ridge, West Virginia. Now getting directions to Stilt Ridge, West Virginia. Distance 260 miles, travel time 5 hours. You will arrive at 5.23am. 
Oma Sai. We're gonna get a, a title sequence? I think we are. Created by Justin Brown. Written by Justin Brown, consultant Sarah Al uh, Yaye. Apologies if I mispronounced that, I almost certainly did. Music and sound, Justin Brown. Trailing credits theme, Quinn K. QA testing, Gunamiji, Quinn K. Sh Mumbler. Ooh, lots of special thanks and support. I, I won't try and read all those. Ooh, look at those weird 2D planes. Thank you, The Bunk, for your patience. I forgive you for every time you jumped on my desk and clawed my waist. So we just made in Unity with an adventure creator. Atmosphere. What? They have to manually light the lamps like Victorian Victorians. That's immediately a, a warning sign. Ooh. Look at this fogginess. Oh, is that the end of the... Did I get to the end of the prologue? I guess I did. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm intrigued. Uh, and now everything's disappeared. Well, brilliant. I'm Yeah, I was ready for, for lots more of that. I guess I'll have to wait for the full game. I'm so glad I checked it out. Uh, apologies if I haven't shown the game off to its uh, full full capacity. Um, I, th I thought I'd kind of worked it out technically, but, but maybe there are a few things slacking there. I hope it generally sounded and looked all right. Um, I do recommend checking it out for yourselves. It's, it's quite an experience to play first hand, um, but of course, if you watch me, you, you might not you might not need to. Uh, but uh, I think it's definitely worth going over to um, to itch and if you feel able to support JB to develop this um, but you think it looks interesting then definitely do do go over there and, and do that because I think it's always worth uh, developing um, independent um, solo developers uh, yeah Ooh, that was sp spooky and and terrific and um, and somehow comfortingly Point and clicky. So I very much enjoyed that. Thank you very much for being here with me, and um, thank you, Adjuin, for um, for your comments earlier. Um, hopefully, uh, the the visual presentation wasn't too off-putting. Um, I've got one more stream left of my my short season of uh, Halloween-inspired streams, so I'm back on Monday. Yes, yes, Monday. I'm back on Monday, thirtieth of October, day before Halloween. 
um, 7 p.m. UK time. Um, and we're going to be having a look at a uh, 90s FMV game, Ripper, which I suspect will take a distinctly different tone to this game. But that's, that's kind of the joy of doing these things, is that um, we get to look at a lot of different things and feel a few different ways. Right, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pop it back on here. Just have the ambience there. There you go. That's the, that's the itinerary I set myself. Um, so please do follow along if you'd like to um, see further streams. Um, so it'll be both here on Twitch and on YouTube on Monday. Uh, there's loads of loads of VODs and Let's Play series over on YouTube if you're interested in any of those. Um, quite a few adventure games clocked up there now if, um, if you're interested on my takes on those. And yeah, until next time everybody, take care. Bye bye.